Hey folks, how you doing? I wanna make a little video about a little preview, review, more of a review, but about a product that is not on the market yet, but it should hit the market soon, and I think it's gonna be a very successful product because it is good. And that's that Spotlight Shifter 2.0 and 1.0. I've showed this to you when I received it from Spotlight, they sent it to me as a, they asked me if I would like to review it and you know, check it out, test it. And I was actually surprised uh, that I got the product before even the uh, release. And I gotta say, they are up to something. I like that. It is a very good light. If they hit the market with the reasonable price on this, uh, thinking about under thirty dollars or even around thirty dollar uh, mark, I think it will be really, really good product and uh, very well worth the money. Now, the why shift the shifter? It's called because you can shift the beam. Just like, just same as with the regular old school mag light lights, you have that rotating bevel that gives you adjustment of the beam. You know, you can go from the flat, really nice spill on that flat. You see that pretty clear, you know, even into the very nice and pointy beam with a very good throw and very bright white light. Now, one thing, for example, now if you compare to good, good, ma uh, good makers like uh, four sevens. This is my Quark, uh, Quark Mini Double A. You see that the color is actually yellowish on the four sevens, and the spotlight has really nice white beam. And in the beam, in the throw mode on the spotlight, is actually even better throw, even more focused to one point. And obviously, if you go to flat, you get a lot more coverage with that flat. You see that circle, the very low, this on the high, that very, very weak circle around it is a lot weaker than the nice big circle on the flat. And the same thing when you point, zoom it in, the, the center beam is much stronger than this. And it doesn't have such a, such, so much halo, I think it's called halo around it. And uh, that's, that's pretty nice. Now, only thing compared to other comparable you know you see you guys know that I like the double triple AAA flashlights one thing is they are a lot bigger in the length than the competition and the reasons there are two reasons unlike many competitions they do have a clicky tail switch which is awesome and they have momentary turn on which is great uh, I think everybody likes that feature when you can just press it lightly without actually clicking and you get the light you know if you need to just really quick get a light on something you don't have to click it you don't have to make the noise so that's a really good feature so that always on and no matter what light you look at if you have options on different lights different companies it's always adds the length and another thing is that bezel the the head that you can adjust that also adds a pretty decent length on the flashlight so you see very comparable you know there's a cheap Cree and it's actually a very good light for the money too. This has a couple of years already and it still works well. This is one of the Chinese Hong Kong Ultra Fire lights. And this is another very good uh, very good flashlight. This ITP3. This is the upgraded version that has the modes. So you see that it is, they are a lot smaller. They are not a lot lighter because this is very light. Because the aluminum, the main body of it, it's nice and thin wall. It's pretty rugged still. You see it nice, just slight use slight scratching from the use I, I have it in my pockets all the time and it gets banged up on everything in my pockets so kind of understandable nothing major pocket clips were perfect so far you know I've I've carried inside of my pocket in the, you know the big one is always in my cargo pants in those inside pockets in the LA police gear the operator pants they have those dividers inside so that the rides there with the pocket clip on it it's not just free floating there and this is sometimes on the either on my side pocket just dropped or in my front that little pocket for like a pocket knife or something clipped on. So this so far they held great. Never really had an issue of falling or losing it. And uh, one more thing what I really like about it, that shifting bevel, bezel, the lens, is you see how easy I can twist it with just thumb. So I can be, you know, holding it with one hand and just twist it nice and easy, adjust that beam with my thumb. I don't have to actually grab it with second hand and turn it with second hand. It's nice and easy operation and it doesn't require many tw many twists. 
you know, I think, what is it? Can I measure it? Yeah, let's see. It's one turn. 360 degrees is the whole turn from the widest to the narrowest. And uh, it's pretty good. I don't remember exact numbers because I threw away the boxes. But if I remember correctly, the small one, the single AAA battery one, is uh, max out on 60 lumens and this one on 110 lumens. So it is it, it is comparable with the with the high end, you know, you're talking about 50, 50 60 dollars high end good brand names like 47s, uh, Phoenix and stuff like that. They both have a high, low and strobe modes. Only one suggestion maybe what I would recommend, I'm not crazy about the strobes in these EDC lights because it is it's not really that usable. I think a lot more usable feature would be if they could program the chip to do that uh, beacon. Beacon is really good, a really handy feature. If you if you camping, if you if you need to mark a spot or something, you put the beacon on it. It lights up, blinks every couple of seconds, and it can do so for many many hours, you know, many 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 days actually. And I like that. Or if anything, maybe the low feature, low light, even lower to really some kind of moon glow light like very very low but uh, the batteries hold really well I've had this for a couple weeks now and I actually change the battery in the small one which I use more on my daily basis I use the flashlights a lot during the day I changed the battery in the small one once so far these still have the original batteries and I use this one quite a lot too but a little less than this one and also this will always last longer just because there are two batteries this only one so that's also, but uh, very good lights, very very happy with them, pretty light, let me, since one thing I can tell you is the weight of this with the batteries, 2 ounces for the big one, that's pretty light, 1.3 ounces for the small one, and for to compare it for example with the, with the I, ITP, you can, okay without the chain, it's 0.8 so that's half an ounce heavier compared to the ITP and it has a variable lens and it has a tail click so not that bad you know it's it's pretty small difference and it's a very light flashlight and they are the small one in the close position when you have on when you have it on the spill it's the shorter when you have it on the beam the throw it's longer so in the shorter position where you can store it this way it's only four inches long so not bad you know it's it's pretty small light you can see it pretty small light and the larger one in the sh in the shorter shorter version is fi five and a three quarters of an inch again not big it's really it's about I lost my uh, Streamlight Stylus Pro I lost that one so I cannot compare it to that one but it, it I, I think if I remember right it's about the same size and uh, I think if they price these well, if, if they won't be too expensive, which I don't think they are because these are Chinese made, if I remember right. It's a Chinese, Hong Kong and United States corporation that, you know, the Spotlight company. And uh, they, they have good product, definitely good product uh, on this. I've had some other products from them. The flashlights held great. One side thing I got a report that... Uh, if you remember the rechargeable little flashlight uh, with the USB backup battery, it doesn't uh, doesn't provide enough power to charge the iPhone. It might charge a lot of other uh, less complicated cell phones that drain less power, but the iPhone probably drains too much power, so it, it starts charging for a couple of seconds and then it turns off. It probably has too much of a consumption, uh, you know, like the drainage. The iPhone probably drains too much, so it just turns off. But as a flashlight, it works great. And these are really excellent. I really like it. They have, like, uh, in comparison, this one has much better and stronger beam than even ITP. Better than this, and even better than the than the four seven Quark Mini AA. They it it is better flashlight. This small one is better than any of these three, honestly. And I like that. It's really good. Mm. You have a little hole for linear if you if you use one of those small linears with the thin little uh, strap on the end. And uh, I I used it in rain. I used it in, uh, by the lake. So, and so far so good. Everything's really good. The the thing 
the reason why it has such a good throw is because it has uh, because it has that lens in the style of uh, if some of you are familiar with the lens light lens light uses that it's literally like a zooming glass it's not just flat piece of plastic or flat piece of glass it has that lens there like a zooming glass that's what can focus the beam you know to the ni either nice spill or a nice throw and by by the fact that when you screw it unscrew it the actual LED gets further and closer that's what creates that spill and uh, throw so very good lights I, I hope that they will hit the market pretty soon because they definitely are good products and uh, I'm curious to see the price points Pro uh, I know they will have color options too, a lot of colors and it's gonna be good so hope you enjoyed it guys Keep your eye for it because I highly recommend this. Once they hit the market, they are great lights. And I have a feeling they're going to be well priced. I have that feeling that they will be good. And uh, thank you Spotlight for you know providing this. I'm very happy that I got them, that I got to test them. And I'm happy that I can recommend something as good as this is to people. And like I said, hopefully we'll see them on the market soon. So thank you for watching guys. Take care, stay safe. And remember, don't cut yourself.